welcome welcome everyone i was Teres here if you're watching it on a youtube today we're gonna talk about a spellbinder um Issa Ray, uh build uh with pure pure easter damage the build is very solid uh so few words how we play in this, this build we started uh, exclusively on ultimate difficulty uh which just resulted in a couple of days uh, a couple of deaths along the way uh partially because i was measuring my the build capacity capabilities to kill uh multiple uh, multiple opponents uh multiple elites with from totems on level 20 without uh with negative resistances partially of some pilot errors and some uh, fights but the build itself was very solid from uh start to the end uh good damage good cleaning speed and uh, let's get into more details how it work. Well, obviously my main skill is uh, Alberged is a ray. Uh, I'm gonna show some stats for it, right? Uh, some stats for it, DPS. Uh, we are reaching 255k uh, DPS with this. And um, uh, 39k per hit with uh, 200 uh, casting speed. 100% casting speed, which is the maximum speed over here. Uh, those are the stats. Those are the stats. Uh, the build develop, uh, developing was uh, we put in a lot of uh, points into physique to begin with, but after that we uh, reshuffle the points a little bit in the end, and uh, we having 50 points spent with spirits for more DPS, uh, but we stay on 25. Um, hundred uh defense ability so we just killed ravager we just killed uh mogadran mogadran was especially easy fight for this uh, uh for this build uh, especially easy fight um i don't know like maybe it took us 10 minutes to kill it ravager was took a uh, more time uh for sure we kill a locar i couldn't face tank locar whoever so we need to uh, dodge him uh quite a bit so locar fight uh Took us a couple of minutes to to finish, and we did try the uh, the crate boss right now, uh, without uh, much of success. Uh, got him to, what to half of the health. We are doing a damage, but because he's a raid is AOE skill, um, it was very hard for me to contain my AOE damage, and I hit a couple of crates. They multiplied and they, they wrecked me. Uh, the highest damage we done on this build is uh, thirteen uh, hundred thirty seven k. Uh, the total deaths it was on on five since we started uh, fighting celestial and great boss and those five deaths uh, like I said was due to the pilot error a very solid build overall uh, for a range build you do need to dodge here and there we're playing this on a 1.2 patch right so we have a dodge mechanic present um, and stuff uh, skill wise is rain main damage uh we have a mark of torment for boss fights you know for some normal bosses normal bosses even uh the oh my god the boss the final boss of uh forgotten ghost dlc uh, oh my god i forgot the name chart tell me so we can face tongue them oh no problem did not didn't need to to move uh, my character around doing a uh, tactical maneuver in sync we could face tank it uh, very easily. Uh, the core work, the core work. Yeah, uh, have the ill omen for reducing uh, this boss's damages. Damage, have my mirror uh, for some seconds of three seconds of uh, invulnerability, uh, nullification. And for rift, uh, we have a bladed rift uh, for 140 uh, reducing uh, target defensive ability. We should don't really need uh, because. We have a uh, 3500 defensive ability along the way. So there's uh, three crucial parts uh, for this build in order to uh, to make it pure Easter damage. If you're going uh, to check my damage here, well, over here, 25 Easter damage. We still have some vitality damage, some a little bit fire damage, and vitality decay and burn damage. But uh, coming from uh, from items, I can't. Uh, really control over but they uh, kind of boost in the build a little bit uh, you know like Issa Ray by, by its own it's 
a little bit of easter damage a little bit of uh, fire damage a little bit of uh lightning damage from disintegration but it managed to make it all this uh, damage easter well pure easter damage which is uh coming along very well with my easter bonuses uh to the build uh, the easter damage bonus on this build we have 2833 uh percent right so that's tremendous boost to my damage uh, when we converted this damage to Easter. Three, three crucial parts of the build in terms of items. Pulsing Shard. You can get it uh, from uh, Easter Abomination uh, near the the boss near the homestead. Uh, amalgamation, I think it's called. Amalgamation, not Abomination. And you can get it uh, quite e earlier. This one that's uh, required for your sustainability, uh, survivability, 8% of attack damage converted to Easter Ray that would have on Pulsing Shard. I was using Seal of Corruption on it and some Easter Stone Powder for my uh, elemental resistances. Uh, we have that for a Mogadrin fight, so we can get over 80 uh, lightning resistance uh, over capacity for Mogadrin fight. Next uh, two items that crucial for a build was a Clay War and Wand. This one converted all fire damage into Easter damage. Alright. Uh, we have a whole Clay War in set here, which is also boosting my uh, DPS significantly. Uh, also have Seal of Corruption on it and Easter Corruption. A haunted powder for some reduction stun duration. Uh, also for Mogadrin fight, so we are on 78 stun uh, resistance here. And the next one is Ulzin, uh, Mark of Ulzin. You can get that one from... Uh, at least I got another Mark of Ulzin from uh, Mogadrin's quest, right? The, the Tomb of Heretic quest in uh, Forgotten Ghost DLC. So this one uh, giving additional fire damage to Easter Ray. So th that's why I've seen this fire damage over here, the flat damage. Uh, it's it's kind of staying. Uh, it's not uh, actually trans transferring uh, for whatever reason to is pure Isa damage. But it also uh, transferring all this lightning damage into fire. And then with clay war and stuff, we transfer, uh, we converted this fire da uh, lightning damage or fire damage that uh, into ether afterwards. Uh, that's three crucial parts of the set. I would like to have also a band of eternal haunt, a hound, which is you can craft it. It's additional uh, ten, minus ten ether resistance, right? So we had enough uh, minus resistance on this build. Uh, for uh, consistently critting and doing damage to celestials, going through their uh, critting them for 30 40k, and my normal crits on uh, normal monsters are sometimes 60k, 60k is normal, are sometimes 100k. Like you saw, the, uh, the highest damage was 137k, but uh, don't don't be uh, fooled by this highest damage, which is uh, sounds uh, very low. It's actually uh, the cleaning speed for this build is super uh, super fast. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so next pieces, uh, Clay were in drop here. Uh, we're using his uh, Vendigo uh, Man's uh, leggings here for a more offensive ability and my piercing resistance. Uh, this build have a lot of problem with uh, up, uh, capping out resistances with this configuration. I can roll for better belt for grid. Uh, that's Gridel, uh, this one you can craft, right? Yeah, there's a lot of damage spikes, uh, Gridel saying, but it appears very fast. It is appearing very fast. Uh, using uh, Aggrieves Malix, our armor rating uh, 180, uh, 1800, rather than saying with 100 armor absorption. We're getting this scale hide and two living armors on my heart here, which is part of Clay Warren's heart you can craft. And uh, clay warrant mantle, which is another clay warrant uh, part of the build. And um, for all of my uh, for all of my rings and amulets, uh, we're using uh, blood blooded crystal for more defensive ability, right? More armor. Uh, that's basically uh, every time on uh, most of my builds I go in for bloody crystals. It's just that additional defensive ability armor really helpful. I'm using a uh, Vendigo Warped as seal uh, as my second ring here. This you can get from uh, Borough of Home Faction, I believe. 
uh, uh, right? It's a faction ring. But uh, there could be better ring. There could be better ring here. We're using uh, Arcane Whisper's Conduit, the crafted one. It took me like 20 tries or something to actually get the one we, we want. We want the one with 16% uh, of weapon damage uh, converted to Easy Ray and 20% slowing Tiger Speed for Easy Ray. Uh, plus 3 to all. Maximum resistance is what Gondu is doing, and plus one to skill in Arcanis. And finally, uh, two pieces, uh, he last two pieces, Boots of Primordial Rage. Again, for more of offensive ability, resistance, physical resistance, all our other resistances, and does have some Easter damage on it. And Mystical is the Reach uh, Glows, Vitality damage. That's why I came in, that's why I, I have in this Vitality damage for my Glows over here. My physical resistance for a build is also uh, really decent. Uh, it is... Uh, where the physical resistance? 27%. Uh, very decent one for... Um, for the mage build. Right, our actual offensive ability when we get in all the buffs around 37... Uh, 100 and defensive ability reaching uh, 3k, so... Uh, don't you, don't you like belittle my defensive ability? It's actually go, uh, going to get good numbers the moment we uh, get hit and get in lower base uh, than seventy five percent of my health. Finally, the artifacts we use in Argrivix Malice over here, right? Uh, that's all the gear. The all the gear uh, with uh, the skill wise skill tree uh, we have. 18 points in my movement of uh, protection, so it's giving me 28 damage absorption along with all the defensive functions. All right, easy ray and uh, disintegration max it out. Uh, the build we started the build with four points into easy ray, uh, so kind of to balance my energy consumption in energy uh, production. And four points in easy ray up until level 30 or something. I had maxed out mental alacrity for more energy, more casting speed, and uh, reduction energy cost. That's how we started uh, the build, but then we dropped uh, the mental alacrity. So I never had actual problem with uh, mana consumption for this easy ray uh, overall. Uh, we did uh, have a period of time, so like I mentioned before, when we were using my Easter, uh, my energy potion on cooldown every time they come in out and down, but that was keeping my uh, energy at maximum uh, more or less of the time. All right, so no problem in energy department there. Uh, the arcane wheel here, giving this 350 additional defense ability when you drop into 75% of my health. We have uh, inner focus here for more critical, more damage. 5 points into nullification, uh, 11 points in the mirror, so I can, I can proc mirror more often. Um, we have, uh, but th this one we always keep in the mirror on one point uh, at the beginning, right? This is because I had too many points to spend. I decided better to go for mirror in terms of uh, celestial fights, so I can use mirror uh, way more often in celestial fights. Uh, Overlord, I uh, don't care about. Uh, Elemental exchange. I only need elemental exchange here so we can use overlord and elemental exchange could be a little bit useful for the energy regeneration uh, They're giving me uh, some energy regeneration in this 1.2 patch, right and uh, This elemental balance for that critical damage one point into it uh, and a little bit more damage to disintegration uh, so we'll, you will have the uh, elemental damage on your build up until you come to level 94 when you can transfer uh, that elemental damage into easter damage with uh, clay wounds uh, stuff. Uh, so this like for that. Have a reckless power as my exclusive skill here and a necromancer. We have a uh, spectral binding for more easter damage, more offensive ability, spectral wrath. For more minus easter resistance so i was worrying about uh resistance reduction for this build how is it gonna work in uh, celestial fights do we have enough is uh, resistance reduction to punch to that 90 percent of easter resistance every celestial has and it was no problem 
a combination of spectral wrath plus uh, arcane uh, bombs uh, from uh, the uh, devotion points uh, constellations and my additional minus 10 from uh, eternal hunt ring uh, that's work work the charm work the charm so we have ill omen for a necromancer and here we have uh, a mark of torment uh, like i say for fight a face tanking a uh, bunch of bosses and sometimes even elites early on and we have 50 points into both arcanist and necromancer trees uh, devotion points uh, devotion points uh, the first three devotion is important for the build. Uh, it was Imp, it was uh, Wrath, and the most important is a uh, video for this uh, arcane bomb. So, like I say, minus 35 is the resistance gonna help you early on, gonna help you later on, gonna help you all the time. So, we also had uh, Ratosh uh, here as a constellation, uh, and for the Ratosh, we needed to invest an owl into Hawk into crane and uh, into jackal we also had a uh, carrot here for most of our ability uh, with this uh, wayward sword soul it's just giving me every time i get an attack i get in me additional 130 defensive ability uh, and uh, okay well like not every time occasionally every five seconds uh, and giving me that uh, health restoration so it's boosted my survivability it's for my play style when we started to build only on ultimate difficulty only i mean uh, it was a crucial part uh, to to get through this from level 50 to level 94 when we were uh, very hungry for items and we played this build as a solo self-found build so we didn't have like access to all this uh, level 50 level 65 level uh, all other levels items from my grimdon stash so that's why this one was especially crucial. The build Azumi asking, uh, I'm gonna link the building in chart in a moment. Let me finish uh, this. And uh, we have Staff of Ratosh uh, for more like offensive ability, a little bit more easier damage. We have a couple of points into Phoenix. Uh, Lateran for, we actually have attack, attack casting speed and uh, plus 50 to all damage. And I think that's all the constellation we're using for this build. Which is, I'm very satisfied with this, very satisfied. There was very uh, small uh, adjustment of the constellation uh, late in the game when we get 55 points. I was removing all the crossroad uh, points ex except this uh, this one because we need 6 in Chaos in order to put uh, the Ratush on. And we uh, were able to afford the stuff for this more offensive ability. Right, so I think that's overall uh, to summarize uh, to summarize the uh, the build itself. It's just gonna go through the secondary stats, which we have uh, fusion resistance thirty eight only. Could be better, could be better, but we can all, always can use the potions for uh, getting it up. Uh, potion wise, we can use elixir of ether on this build. Right, additional casting speed and additional ether damage. Uh, especially earlier on it's very good uh, elixir if you have resources to craft to use uh, for this additional custom speed but we uh, did approach my uh, maximum uh, we already over the maximum on attack speed a long time ago so it uh, not using that uh, very often here right uh, that's I think all all there to say about build like very satisfied how this went a uh, very solid build and the chat asking for the build itself we're gonna link it in into the chat any moment right now let me let me do it so if you're watching this uh, on the youtube guys uh we'll do appreciate a follow i we'll do appreciate a follow uh we're gonna be uh streaming uh taking a pause from uh from grim dawn builds for a couple of days we're gonna be streaming um gonna be streaming uh, Stronghold Definitive Edition soon. Okay, there's a uh, ne next couple of days and before uh, the patch 1.2 gonna hit uh, official shelves.